welcome to news making headlines on March 30th. Gloom and doom, that's what many feel when Bangkok is colder than Chiang Mai. It begs the question if this highly erratic weather pattern is a warning of coming disaster. Is nature showing us the adverse effects of global warming? Natural disasters from earthquakes to now flooding have dominated newspaper headlines for weeks. The extreme hot and then extreme cold weather has taken a toll on not only human health but livestock. Listen to Pujit Gan's headline, Extremely cold in Om Khoi, more than 2,000 cows dead. The story says villagers of Chiang Mai's Om Khoi district found bovines dying one after the other and alerted livestock officials. After a check, the officials ruled out an epidemic or any kind of disease as the reason behind the high death toll of the livestock. They believe these cows could not brave extreme weather conditions and prescribed medicine to boost their immune system. Another burning question discussed on the internet is the likelihood of Bangkok being hit by a severe earthquake above magnitude 7. Quake experts are not ruling out such a possibility since Bangkok is only about 200 kilometers away from the Sisawat Fault in Kanchanaburi and Bangkok soil is very soft which will exacerbate the quake effect. And today, Matichon newspaper highlights a more worrisome discovery. Its main headlines scream, Nakhon Nayok Fault Line Discovered Lying Close to Bangkok Central Legion Risk Earthquake. A Jhulalongkorn University expert revealed that a satellite picture discovered the new fault in Nakhon Nayok, which he says is active and formidable. He is submitting his latest information to the Natural Resources Ministry so it can increase the number of active faults in Thailand from 13 to 14. Well, let's all pray we don't get hit by a devastating quake. Now, if you use the airport link regularly, you have to face more crowding on the trains till April 4th or even longer. All because our wonderful state railway of Thailand, citing red tape, has failed to get the needed spare parts to fix the city line today. So their plan to resume normal operations tomorrow has fallen through. Thankfully, three or four trains on the city line are up and running, but passengers will have to wait at least 20 minutes for a train to turn up instead of every 15 minutes. And since the express train has been halted, more passengers are using the city line. As we reported yesterday, the technicians are pulling out parts from the express train and using these to fix the broken down city line train. What is this? North Korea? Well, many students dream of becoming a doctor, but on the opposite end, a transvestite doctor in Khao Kho Hospital in Pechabun said it has been his dream since childhood to win the Miss Tiffany pageant. Kom Chat Luk features the story of 25-year-old doctor Anon Chatichat, who it says is not only smart but humble. Anon is a contestant in the Miss Tiffany contest but he does not expect to win the pageant because, according to him, there are many other transvestites who look more beautiful than he does. Anon revealed he started wearing women clothes when he began working and most patients don't realize he's a man till he starts talking to them. Their response, shock? No, Anon said, his patients are quite understanding. They accept him for who he is and believe that he can help cure their illnesses. Well, let's see whether Dr. Arnon will see his dream come true by snatching the Miss Tiffany title this year. That's it folks, have a nice day.